And we have Vanessa Munster, who is uh, actively involved in everything that comes out, everything that comes into our hands that we do in the events. Vanessa has her fingers in it, and we so appreciate her. We appreciate both of them very much. Let's give them a warm round of applause. Well, we love Vanessa Hunter and Michelle Wall. It is actually for you. And I know you're laughing really loud right now, 
How happy are you now that you know about concealer? It is vegan, it is filler-free, it is preservative-free, 
and it is absolutely wonderful. Okay, so I want to start off by going over our botanical spa line that Michelle and Vanessa were talking about, and um, I want to start with our waterless vitamin C. Okay, how many of you have used this product? Yes. How many of you absolutely love this product, Steve? Waterless vitamin C? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, can use it. No problem. Okay, so the waterless vitamin C, basically what vitamin C does for the skin, does anybody know? I know some of you have been in my trainings before. What does it do? It helps with the collagen and elastin of the skin. But what I like to call it is the BLT of skincare, okay? Brighten, lighten, and tighten the skin. Okay? So that's the easiest way to remember it. When you show it to somebody, when you use it for yourself, when you're trying to tell somebody about it, we brighten, lighten, and tighten the skin. So we also use it as a primer for our foundation. Okay? So you're going to put it on before your foundation, after your moisturizer, to help your makeup stay on all day. Okay? So then I want to go over a little bit about our incredible spa line. Again, 100% natural, preservative free. Okay, what's in our spa line? You have a gel cleanser, a creamy cleanser, a toner, a moist, uh, day cream, and a night cream. And a lot of us are like, well, why is it important to use a toner? Does anybody know why we use toners? Anybody? To, to help with the minimalize the, the pH. Also, we use a toner to, um, to get all the rest of the dirt out of our pores and then close the pores before we put on our moisturizer so that we don't get more dirt into our pores, okay? So there's three steps that you want to do morning and night to take care of your skin. Because I know all of you are um, taking care of the inside of your body. So again, we want to take care of the outside of our bodies. So we want to cleanse, tone, and moisturize twice a day. Okay? And the reason that we have a day cream and a night cream is so that you should use both. And also we have a gel cleanser and a creamy cleanser. So we can exfoliate our skin a few times a week and then also get the moisture we need from the creamy cleanser. Okay? So. I want to go over two things. What are the three steps of skincare? Perfect. And then what does um, vitamin C do for the skin? Exactly. Okay, so what the girls are doing now is they're going to do the makeovers on these beautiful ladies up here. So they're cleansing, toning, and moisturizing the skin. Then they're going to put on the waterless vitamin C to help to set the makeup. And what else I want to go over with our line is that, um, like Michelle and Vanessa were saying earlier, when they started the line, they were blending colors. And another thing that sets us apart so different from all other lines is that we actually custom blend colors for you, okay? So let's just say, I know a lot of you, how many of you walked up to a matte counter or a Smashbox counter, and they had a color that was similar to your skin tone, but you always see that line, or you feel like you look a little bit too pale. How many people does that happen to? Yeah, happen to me all the time, okay? So we will actually, custom blend a color for you. We will take two different shades, if it's three different shades, we will do that. And we'll actually custom blend those colors for you and make a perfect shade for your skin tone. Wow. Okay? So that's huge difference, right? Exactly. So how many, of, how many counters will you, can you walk up to and you say, you know what, I need two shades? And they're like, oh, let me take care of that. I'm gonna custom blend your color. Nobody, nobody. So then you can buy these two foundations and then you can mix them at home, right? So when you call in and you say, hey, I need a custom blend, I need a gorgeous and a beautiful, we're gonna custom blend that personally for you and send it right out, okay? So that's huge. Super different, okay? Also with our makeup, we have a buildable coverage. So you can, I know a lot of us, we like to wear like only a little bit, you know, just throw on a little foundation before we leave the house, make a little blush, okay? Some of us, I know three of us, <laughs> We like to have a lot of makeup on because we talk in front of people or make parts. So of course, you know, people are like, who did your makeup? So we actually um, have a buildable coverage. All of our makeup is a buildable coverage. So what that means is you can put a little bit on or you can pack it on to make it look, you know, a, a thicker coverage. Because I know some of us like a really thick, heavy coverage, right? Ladies, are you with me? Okay. Gentlemen, not yet. We'll get there. <laughs> um, and like they were saying, gentlemen, I know that you, some of you don't wear makeup, some of us do, right? But um, it is great to, to have the knowledge. And it's, it's an awesome thing to have that where you can go up to somebody and say, you look beautiful, what are you wearing? And have that knowledge of the makeup, you know, to share with them as well. So that's always great. So what the girls are doing now is they're applying our foundation. And with our foundation, you can either use a flawless face brush, like um, Vanessa has, or you can use our kabuki brush. 
No, Vanessa, huh? And Jessica. Okay. So basically, you're going to put on that waterless vitamin C, and then you're going to apply your foundation. You're going to go on circular motions on the skin, and you're going to apply the amount that you desire. So if you only want to put a little bit, you don't need too much coverage. I see a lot of beautiful skin here. That means you don't need a ton of makeup on, right? But some of us, again, like a, a heavier coverage. So we're going to go in circular motions on the skin until we get the desired coverage, okay? So what do you do after that? Does anybody know the steps of doing a makeover? Okay, there's no steps. Everybody does it different. So me, personally, I like to put my foundation on, and I like to do my blush and my bronzer, and then I go ahead and do my eyes. Some of us do it differently. I know that Vanessa sometimes does eyes first, and then she goes through and does the blush and bronzer and all that. Okay, so there's no right or wrong way to do makeup, ladies and gentlemen. So you can do it any way you want. Um, so you can do blush first, you can do your eyes first, totally doesn't matter. Okay, so what the like the girls are gonna do next? Um, have you girls already got done the cream concealer? No. Okay. So we also have a really really incredible product. It's called Creamy Concealer. How many of you get bags on your eyes? <laughs> I do. Um, and this is this is what they were talking about earlier that Steve was using. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you can use it. Um, and it's it's a shea butter based creamy concealer, so we can use it um, to cover up blemishes. We can use it for under our eyes. Um, I even have some of some of our people that love to use it as a foundation. It's very creamy, very moisturizing, and you can actually use it as a foundation. Um, some people use it as an eyeshadow base. You can use it on their eyelids. You can use it however you want. It's it's a really creamy. Um, you are okay. So that's another great thing that we carry. What are you girls doing now? So Vanessa is doing eyes, and what she's doing is she's applying a base color to all over the eyes. So that means from lash to brow, she's going through and doing um, like a, a tan color or a beige color, and she's going to do that all over to set as a base for her for her eyeshadow. Okay. Do I have any questions yet? Which color is she? Which color? Yellow knife. Our favorite, everybody's favorite, is yellow. What color foundation did you use? What's the sound? Beautiful? That's a great question. I, I, you say, what color do you use on, on somebody's skin tone from the pan? Again, we have colors of all shades now because we do have such a, a wide color range. And we also do have for um, Asian skin tones, for African American skin tones. There's nothing that you won't find in our life. And again, if we don't have it, we can make it. It just balanced her whole complexion. Flawless, right? Yeah. Excellent. What did you say the the base was on the eyes? Yellow knife. Yellow knife. Oh, hi, Richard. <laughs> so what type of a brush do you recommend for the creamy concealers and you don't want to use the same brush with the powder, right? That is a great question. And I'm going to show you right now. <laughs> um, all of our makeup is also, uh, all of our makeup is, is super dummy proof, okay? So all of our brushes, they say what they're used for on them, okay? So this is an ultimate concealer brush, so that means you're going to use it for your concealer. So all of our all of our brushes are labeled to make it easy, because a lot of us, you know, some of us don't know how to do makeup, and then we're like, oh, I don't know which brush I'm supposed to be using, so each brush has a label on it. It'll say shadow brush, crease brush, and each of those things will tell you what you're doing as well. Also, we have a very easy mineral makeup brochure that you can use. Um, it explains how to do eyes, how to do eyebrows. Um, so everything is explained. All of our kits, either um, our eyeshadow kits, they come with the colors that you're supposed to be using with each other. If you'd like to do that, it makes it super easy for you. Also, um, our foundation kits and everything else, they come with the colors that you're supposed to be using. So it makes it very easy to learn how to use it. Um, we also have directions on how to use it. Okay? Is the concealer a cream or a powder? It's a creamy concealer. We do have a powder concealer as well. We have a light medium and dark. And is, okay. and is the base that you're putting on there, is that a mineral, is that a powder or a cream? They're, almost all of, our, all of our makeup is powders with the exception of our creamy concealers, our lipsticks, and our lip locks. Okay? Speaking of lipsticks and lip locks, I have a really great um, useless fact for you. How many of you knew that um, the average women, woman eats five pounds of lipstick a year? Anybody know that? Most lipsticks, um, does anybody know what most lipsticks have in that? Lead. Okay. We are a lead-free lipstick. Um, we also don't have bug wings in our lipstick. Okay. No bugs in our lipstick. So that's always good, right? 
it's true. There's a lot of a lot of makeups out there that have gloves in them. Um, oh, I wish I had a comparison chart. Okay, I'll, I will bring some up this afternoon, and you will all be able to see our comparison chart. We have a comparison chart that actually shows our makeup comparatively. Okay. So, what step are you on? Okay. So what Vanessa is doing now is she's going to line her eyes. And every person has a different shape, guys, so it just depends on how you want to do your liner. Um, what Vanessa is doing is she's using our black eyeliner, and she's going to go close to the lash line, okay, as close as possible, and she's going to use small strokes on the, the very tip of the lash line and make that just perfect line, okay? When you small strokes, it makes it very, very easy <coughs> to um, get that perfect line. I know some of you are like, I just, my hands shake and I can't do it. Small strokes on the tip of the lash line will make it a perfect, perfect line, okay? And how about you, Jess? What are you doing? Same thing. Oh, same thing over here. So they are applying the eyeliner now, and then they're going to go through and do some blush and bronzer. How many of you know where blush belongs on your face? <laughs> yes. Apples. Exactly. So you want to put, we want to put our, our blush on the apples of the cheeks where we would naturally blush, and then we put bronzer on, on the high points of the face where we would naturally get kissed by the sun. So the forehead, nose, cheek, and that's it. So the high points of the face. Okay? Okay. So then um, the girls are going to go through and I'm gonna, they're going to do some blush. Our fa one of our favorites is um, Sexy, our complexion enhancer. It gives you a nice glow to it, uh, but it's without using too, too much color like a bronzer. Okay? Do you, so, do you have baby? Do you have blue? We do. We have a, a smoky blue eyeliner. It's beautiful. Okay, so as you can see, Jessica's over here and she's putting um, Sexy Complexion Enhancer on the high points of the face. And again, it's a buildable coverage with all of our makeup. So you can do as much or as little as you want. If you want to build, if you like a darker, you know, a deeper um, highlight on the face or anything like that, a deeper contour, you can definitely do that. Not a problem. Um, it just depends on your personal preference, okay? So there's, again, no right or wrong way to be doing it. And Vanessa's going through and doing some blush. What color are you using? She's using sexy as well, and she's going to put blush on the apples of her cheeks. What blush are you doing? She just sits over here, and she's going to use desire. She's going to put that on her apples. Let's do a recap really quick. See how many of you are listening. What is the um, E L T to skincare? Exactly. And what are the three steps to skincare? Exactly. Cleanse, tone, and moisturize. I love that everybody's listening. Excellent. Question. Yes. Okay. Does the mineral, because I found that it doesn't, it shows, increases the lines, the age. Yeah. Excellent question. A lot of women, um, especially with more mature skin, they have a problem with creasing lines. And that's, you know, that's that's definitely a thing that, that's incorporated with mineral makeup that a lot of people think that my lines are going to show and everything like that. Um, what I recommend is using our skincare. And the reason I recommend using our skincare is because it has SOD in it. Does anybody know what SOD is? Drink it all the time. What is it? Exactly. I don't know if you guys heard it. Who wants Vanessa? She likes to say it. I'm not very good at pronouncing it. Super fast and Say it. There you go. I can't pronounce it. That's the word I can't say. So SOD, um, I know a lot of you drink it in some of our beverages, right? Um, SOD is an anti-aging um, antioxidant. So it's going to help fight those free radicals. Also, it's, um, we, we depleted that as we can age, so we want to put it back onto our skin. So all of our skin care has SOD in it. Um, so with it, the with the aging, more mature skin, you want to use our skin care. The waterless vitamin C is going to help to, to brighten, lighten, and tighten. And then if you put the, the waterless vitamin C on before you put your foundation, it's going to go on very, very smooth. You want to make sure you're always moisturized. Um, and always use that waterless vitamin C to set your makeup, and you shouldn't have any problem with lining. Okay. Before and after. You want to use it. Well, you want to use it before. Just before. Yeah. Do you add water? Uh, drop of water to it? No. No. Um, now, if you want to add a drop of water to our foundation, you can, and it's going to give it that nice flawless look. Um, don't add too much water because then it'll get a little bit okay. moist. Um, so you want to just add, you know, a tiny bit to your brush, and that's it. Okay? Any of our makeup, you can wet as well. So if you want to take one of our eyeshadows and make it into an eyeliner, if you want to take one of our blushes and make it into a lipstick, you can. All you have to do is tap a little bit of blush on your, on your lips and then set it with our vitamin E lipstick. 
Okay, so these are very easy. So now we're doing brows. I know Vanessa and Michelle are a huge fan of brows, and we have an excellent brow kit that has directions in it for you. So with the brows, you want to start, and Vanessa's excellent at doing brows. I'm going to have you turn actually to the left just a little bit, and she's going to show. Okay, so if you take a look, she actually only has one on right now. Okay, and with the brows, it kind of makes a frame for your face. Does anybody see the huge difference? Yeah. Okay, so it actually makes a frame on your face, and it finishes off your look. So ladies, I encourage you, do your brows. Our brow kit actually has your tweezer in it. It has the brow brush. Everything that you need to do your eyebrows every day. Okay, so with the eyebrows, you're going to start on the, the middle of the brow and work your way out first. Okay, as you can see, Vanessa is doing it. So she's going to start on the, the middle of the brow. Um, if you look, like, pretty much directly under, above your pupil. Okay, so you're going to go straight down and do the curvature of your brow. And then she's going to go through on the center of the brow and just work that powder in until she gets the look that she's looking for. Okay? How many of you do your brows in here? <laughs> it makes a huge difference, right? I saw a question right here. For oily skin, that's a great question. Our gel cleanser is excellent for oily skin. Um, you know, you can use a creamy cleanser, but if you have a little more oil, I would use the gel cleanser more often. And then also, if you don't want to use the night cream every day, I would recommend using the day cream, and that's going to be less emollient, so it's going to give you that, you know, the less, the lesser oil. Um, also, we have a, a product called Angel Face, which is um, a setting powder. Have you any of you heard of our Angel Face? Yes. A lot of people love it. It actually has kaolin clay in it. So kaolin clay is great for soaking up oils on the face and keeping it more of a matte tone. Okay? So angel face is great for that. And then using the day cream instead of the night cream most of the time. Okay? So we're going to do some lips now. And with our lips, how many of you like to use lip liner? Yes. Good. Okay, so we're going to use one of our lip liners. Um, I think they're going to use rose lip liner. And so with the lips, it's the same as the, the eye liner, okay? So you're going to do small strokes around the lip line. Ladies, let's try not to go all the way up here. <laughs> all the way up, just on the lip line. So small strokes on the lip line until you get that desired coverage that you want. Also, you can go inside the lip to get you a little more color on the outside, and then do a clear on the inside. That gives you a really pretty, um, a really pretty pop. So as you can see, Vanessa's just doing small strokes around the lip line. And then it's going to give her a really, really beautiful color. And then she's going to go through and do some lipstick inside to give her that color. So now we have a lipstick and a lip lock. How many of you know what a lip lock is? Jen? <laughs> it's, it's like a gloss, but it's got the, the pigment of a lipstick. So you still get that really, really brilliant color, but with a gloss um, feel to it. And also it's going to help to lock in the color of your lipstick. So each of our lipsticks have a matching lip lock for them. And then most of our lip liners match our lipsticks and lip locks. So there's a few less colors of the lip liners because you can use them with numerous different colors. But um, our lip lock is excellent if you look for more moisture. I know it gets really dry here, so my lips get really, really dry. So I love to use one of our lip locks. And she's going to use Freesia lipstick. And these are okay. all chemical free, so chemical. Everything is 100% matte. Even the lip liners, even the lipstick. And what my favorite thing is, ladies and gentlemen, is um, our all-natural mascara. It is very, very rare to find 100% natural mascara. And the reason being is because most mascaras have had a drying agent, mostly alcohol, right? Or, um, you know, a lot of them also have, I know um, there's another company that has crushed glass in their mascara, stuff like that. So we are very, very proud to have a 100% natural mascara that we can use. And it's also very conditioning to the lashes because there's no alcohol, so it's very, it helps the lashes to be very, very conditioned. So Jessica's over there and she's doing lips as well. On a darker skin tone, what, what lips are we doing? Petunia. Petunia, okay. And she's doing a lip gloss, so she's got that more glossy look to her. And these ladies are starting to look gorgeous. Question. Yes. With the, you say lip lock? Lip lock. Okay. Lip lock <laughs> it helps. Um, a, little, a little trick that I like to use to keep me from eating my lipstick off is I like to dust a little bit of my foundation powder over my lip, then use a liner. I know that some of us have problems with lining around the lip and it bleeds off, right? So a little, a little tip from the makeup artist. 
Um, I always like to put a tiny bit of powder on my lips, then line them, and put a lipstick, and then the lock. And it's going to help to lock in that color again. The vitamin E, you can use it any time throughout the day. You can use it at night. I like to put it on right before bed. It helps condition my lips right before bed. Gentlemen, I can use it too. It's completely clear, so it's really, really great for chapped lips. Um, it's just a pure vitamin E, vitamin E stick, and it's really, really wonderful. But you can put it on over or under your lipstick. It's clear, so you can use it just like a lip gloss, but with you know vitamin E in it, so it helps for that moisture. Yes, ma'am. It's a it's called lip lock. So it's, it's, it's basically a liquid form of lipstick. Okay, it's not that safe. Yes. Do you have to worry about the vitamin E going rancid, like growing with vitamin No. And that would be a great question, actually, for Michelle. She said, do you ever have to worry about any of the, the minerals or the vitamin E going rancid? So, no. No, but honestly, I mean, I do tell this to everybody. The products that Vanessa and I have made without the preservatives and the toxins in them, these are not meant to sit around. So I would not personally use a vitamin E that had been sitting in my drawer for, let's say, two years. And I know all of us in here, I've got eyeshadows a little more than 10 years old. We all have that makeup. I know, I do. So in regards to longevity's mineral makeup and our botanical skincare set, we want you to use them. When women say, why can't you put them into the Costco size jars and containers? It's because they do not have the preservatives in them. Our batches are made fresh. Our vitamin E lipsticks are made fresh. And we turn that product over out in our inventory every month. So as we're sending it to you, we're bringing in fresh stuff and we need you to use it. So I use my vitamin E lipstick twice a day. I actually, as soon as I get out of the shower, put it on my lips. And it's the last thing I put on my lips before I go to bed. It's great before you go to bed. Also, a little, a little trick that Vanessa likes to use, um, this Vanessa, is she takes our vitamin E lipstick. Don't use the same one you use on your lips. Um, but she takes a little bit on her brow brush and brushes it across her brows. And it's just like brow wax, so you can um, kind of keep your brows set all day long. I know mine are like really like bushy and sometimes kind of crazy. So I like to just set them with a little bit of um, our vitamin E. And it's not going to look oily or anything. Just brush it in really good, and it'll, it'll help your eyebrows stay set. Question. So, yes. Mascara. Mm -hmm. Waterproof, not waterproof. Does it run? It's water resistant, not waterproof. So there's, there's a pretty big difference between the two. Um, water resistant, you know, I've actually gone to the beach personally, swam with my makeup on. All of our makeup stays on extremely, extremely well. We do trade shows and, and work for about 18 hours at a time every once in a while, and they will stay on all day long. Um, I've never had a problem with our mascara flaking because it doesn't dry like normal mascara does. So it doesn't flake. So it's water resistant, not waterproof. And it doesn't have petroleum. Nope. No. No petroleum in it, right? No, no, there's no petroleum in it. And again, we provide all of our ingredients when we sell our mascara. So I mean, that was something that took both Nessa and I nearly three years to produce. Because when you go to waterproof mascara, what keeps it waterproof? Chemicals. And when you look at water-resistant mascaras, most of them out there on, on the market are completely water-based. So when you mix with water, it generally runs down your face. So one of the things that makes our product unique is the beeswax that's in it that serves as the base. So that's what makes it water resistant. It's not perfect, but we can't go waterproof without adding chemicals to it, which we feel are not good for your eyes. Good. Just, um, yeah, I'm highly active. Um, very active. Yeah. So the running of it, I can't handle the running. I go to the gym with my makeup on. I run no, all the time. Guys, I'm wearing yesterday's makeup. So, <laughs> yeah. I go everywhere with this makeup. Yeah. It will last. I mean, you need to you need to wash it off every night, and that's why I again strongly strongly um, suggest you know doing our skincare twice a day because you do you need to wash your face before bed. You want to keep your skin very clean. So I know that they want. To, oh, look how beautiful she looks. Yeah. <laughs> Our men's kit, it's called Wake Up to Love, so you get two coffee mugs for you and your love. Um, you get a, um, an eight ounce bag of our original roast coffee as well as some chocolate to enjoy with it, okay? So that's our men's kit. And then our women's kit, which is super special, I love this kit. It comes with one of our Isolulu candles. It comes with chocolate, 
a lavender jojoba oil, and then a lavender bath soap. So it's really a pampering kit for her. So gentlemen, get on your game this year. <laughs> Make sure she has one of the Valentine's kits. And then we also have a really great kit. Um, it is our blush kit, and it comes with Desire Blush, which is a great color for this season, and um, a actually it's an exclusive brush to that kit. Okay, so it's a really nice, and then it's a great deal too. So um, definitely give us, ask any of us afterward, and we'll tell you all about the kids, and they have pricing for you up front and everything else. Also, you can find in the back, you can get a brochure and a booklet. Um, so if you have any other questions that I didn't get to answer today, you will have this booklet here, okay? Yes? Is there a particular number that we call to visit with you? There is. Um, if you call one, the regular corporate number, 1-800-982-3189, our extension in our room is 6422. And if any of you have questions Monday through Friday, you can always give us a call. We answer the phone all the time. Um, you know, and just even if you want to visit or talk to specific questions. 6422. Did I say that? They, no, sometimes you have to say it twice. Six, four, two, two. <laughs> and then also, I just want to know how many of you in here know um, somebody that is a hairdresser or a salon? Most of us, right, if we get our hair done, okay? So um, if any of you have questions about, we have a brand new um, Just Bought Salon kit. So if you know salon owners or hairdressers that are looking to make some extra money right now, you have to tell them about our salon kit because it's, Amazing. So ask me about that afterward, okay? Good job, Steph. You guys have a great job. Thank you. Check out Mary. She looks good. Yeah. 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 Can we just take a picture of you? Because she'll have it on Facebook in two minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We are going to be taking a little bit of a break, but we regroup here. Oh, sorry. I want a makeover. No. <laughs>